Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to get input from a user in C++. Now, a lot of times in our programs, we're going to be working with all different types of information. But one of the most important types of information is going to be information that the user inputs. So a lot of times in our programs, we're going to want to allow the user to input information and then we're going to want to use that information in order to do different things. So in this tutorial, we'll just give a broad overview of how that's done. We'll talk about how to get different types of information and you know, you'll kind of learn everything you need to learn. So down here, whenever we're getting information um, from the user, the first thing we always want to do is store that information somewhere. So whenever I'm asking the user to give me a piece of information, if they give me that information and I don't put it anywhere, like it's kind of useless, right? So usually what we want to do is create a variable. And I'm actually going to write a little program that will allow the user to enter in their age. So I'm going to create an integer just called age and I'm not going to give it a value. So I'm just going to put a semicolon there. We're essentially declaring the integer. So we're telling C++ that we want to use this integer, but we're not giving it a value. We're going to let the user give this variable a value. The next thing I want to do is I want to prompt the user to enter in something, right? So if I don't give them a prompt, if I don't tell them what information I want, then they're not going to know what they should input. So I'm just going to say C out and I'll just print out a little prompt. So we'll just say, enter your age and we're basically just prompting them to enter in their age. All right. So once we've created the variable and once we've prompted them to enter in the information, now what we can do is we can actually get the information from them. So the way that we get information is actually the opposite of the way that we print out information. So instead of saying C out, I'm just going to say C in and I'm going to make two greater than signs. So when we use C out, we use these less than signs. When we use C in, we use greater than signs and that's really important. So over here, I'm just going to type in the name of the variable that I want to store what they enter inside of. So I'm just going to put age here because I want to store whatever they input into this age variable. So assu we're assuming that they're going to enter in an integer number and I'm going to store that integer number inside of this integer that we created. Now what we can do is we can just print out something. So we'll print out a little message to them basically saying like you are and then we'll say like age and we can say like years old cool so now we're basically just asking them to enter in their name we're taking whatever they input and we're storing it inside of this age variable we can do that using this c in uh command here and then we're just printing out you are the age years old so let's go ahead and run our program and we'll see how we did so I'm going to build and run and you'll see here it says enter your age so we can just put like 30 and now when I click enter it's going to take that integer that we entered in 30 it's going to store it inside of the age variable it's going to print out the prompt so when I click enter you'll see it says you are 30 years old so that's awesome so we can do that and we can get uh, an integer I could also get a double so if I made this a double um, it would be the same thing so here I could run the program and I could enter in like 4.5. So maybe someone's like four and a half years old and here they're entering in 4.5. So it's going to work the same exact way. You could also do the same thing for characters. So if I made this a char, um, here it'll be the same. So we'll be able to get a character from them as well. So now when I run the program, I could just enter in um, like a G for example, whatever. Obviously that's not the age, but it does the same thing. So it's able to take in that character and it's able to use it. Um, now here's the thing, that's how we can get characters and numbers. But if we want to get a string of text, we're actually going to do something different. So if I wanted to get a string, I'm actually not going to use this C in command. So I'm going to show you guys how we can get a string. So instead of entering in the age, why don't we have them enter in their name? So over here, I'm going to make a string and I'm just going to call it name. Instead of using C in, I'm going to use another command, which is called get line and get line will basically allow us to get an entire line of text. So instead of just getting like one number or one character, we're going to get like the entire line that the user enters. And in here we need to pass this a couple different parameters. The first is going to be C in and C in is basically just that little like command prompt. So like whenever we enter stuff into that command prompt, that's basically what this is saying. Um, and then we want to enter in the name of the variable where we want to store the line of text that we get. So I'm just going to store it inside of name. And so over here, 
we could just say hello to the user. So I could say hello and it's going to be name. So now we'll be able to get the name from the user. So we'll basically get the entire line. So for example, I could come over here, I could say like John Smith. And now when I click enter, it says, hello, John Smith. So that's how we can get uh, strings of text. And that's really the difference is if I wanted to get like an integer and store it inside of an integer variable, or if I wanted to get a char and store it inside of a char variable, I have to use C in. But if I want to just get like a string of text, then I can use this get line function and they're both going to be useful. So that's kind of an overview of how we can get input from the user and you could get as many values as you wanted. So, you know, you could essentially like copy this whole line, paste it a bunch of times below there and get, uh, you know, a, a bunch of different pieces of information and use them. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.